little bit about history of this subject. I will come back to the course structure assessments and all that again, but let us first focus on how this subject is developed over last three or four centuries. First things first, that it is a relatively recent subject compared to statics. Statics have a long history rooted back to maybe ancient times where whenever the human civilization actually learned to, to erect structures or construct something or develop assembly of different components to use for their own benefit, statics actually goes back to that time. But dynamics is actually a relatively recent subject. Uh, its starting point can be traced back to works from Galileo who studied actually many things but one of them is bodies in free fall. His main question was that when you release an object from a particular height, does the force attracted, the force actually acted on that particular object, it varies with the weight or with the shape or with the size of that object or not. So very basic question he was dealing with, but he had a remarkable work on developing equation of motions for inclined planes for different geometrical aspects of dynamics and mechanics. His work actually led to the development of pendulum clock in 1657. The day he died actually born the big name uh, Isaac Newton 1642 uh, who actually have contributions into different areas of science. He invented calculus at the age of 26. Uh, however, one of his major uh, contributions was uh, a, a publication called Principia Mathematica in 1687 in which he laid down, formulated formally for the very first time uh, his well-known laws of motion. So uh, this is one of the topics which is concerned with our course. We will be using those laws again and again. Actually, a big part of those relationships which relate applied forces and its effect are actually laws of motion. Then we have another well-known publication called Mechanica uh, by Leonhard Euler. He was a Swiss mathematician. And soon after that, he uh, developed different mathematical formulations explaining physical phenomena. So he was well known for developing mathematical theory explaining motion of different objects. Um, then we have another big name, D. L. Lambert. He was the first one to develop, formulate the principle of dynamic equilibrium. We now use it almost every day in different mechanical and civil engineering applications. He was the first one to say that uh, a moving object can also be considered in equilibrium. So in order to be in equilibrium, the structure need not to be at rest always, right? So you can consider that moving object point by point, consider its equilibrium and work out the relationship between applied loading and the resulting motions. He is also well known for the solution of wave equations like mathematical theory, which explains how the waves move, how they reflect, refract. That theory was universal. It was applied to sound waves in the theory of acoustics. It was applied to mechanical waves also. We have another two big names then, Lagrange and then Laplace. You know already their contributions in mathematics and calculus, but they have contributions in mechanics and geometry of mechanics also. For example, uh, Lagrange published Mechanique Analytique after 101 years pr of Principia, explaining or defining the mathematical theory for different types of motions. For celestial objects, Laplace also authored a five volume Mechanique Celeste, working out the theory for different motions of planets and other uh, celestial objects. Then we have Poinsot you know that dynamics or mechanics in general by nature is geometrical. You have forces acting in different directions represented by different vectors. You have studied that in statics. So you will be understanding that beside mathematical theory, the actual problem mostly are uh, geometrical in nature. They, they have uh, directions associated with problem and then they are used to that. 
points out have contributions in that particular aspect he is called as the inventor of geometrical mechanics actually this fact that mechanics by definition or by nature is geometrical in nature is regarded as the as the most difficult part or something which the students always struggle with by the author of our textbook which i'll be introducing in next few slides so this is considered as a tough part to just comprehend the geometrical nature of all the problems which we deal with uh, in in statics and dynamics so um he was the first one by the way to give us a concept that a set of all forces and uh, couples applied or moments applied on a particular object can be resolved into a single resultant force and a single resultant couple or a single resultant moment right a concept which we will be using again and again in 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 dynamics then another big name i think second last in my list coriolis how many of you have heard about coriolis effect many of you the effect actually is about what will happen if a particular frame of reference or if a particular plane which is describing your dynamic problem is rotating with respect to another particular plane or frame of reference i'll be defining this word frame of reference but just to give you an idea that what is coriolis effect uh i think it is a good idea to show you one two minute clip from national geographic in which they explain what that effect is and how it is related to our daily life using an example they explain in that clip it is all about what supplementary forces are developed uh in a in 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 a plane which is actually rotating so if earth is rotating and there is a motion from one part of that earth to the other part the there will be supplementary forces that will actually deviate that object from straight path and this is the coriolis effect last in our list is albert einstein he has main contributions to not rigid or deformable body mechanics but stat statistical mechanics uh something which we might not be touching in this particular course so this was a brief history of this course you have seen some big names some big phenomena associated or attributed to those big names but there is more to that subject there are continuous developments in calculus because that will be the main tool to describe the motion or mechanics of moving objects 